Today I have a lot of things to do. I'm very busy because I've got to do few things to do because this is for our output performance output at school. So what I'll do is I'll do dishes for ESP, helping the people or helping the family. So which I'm going to do later. So and then I'm going to do math. Um, I've got to pick one of our lessons in math for the second quarter, and we have to explain it. And that's got to do um, our English. So what we have to do, what I'm going to do is I have to write um, my activities last weekend um, from February 13 from 14. So what I'm going to do later. So let's start. Okay, so I'd like to do the math first. So, what we have to do is we have to pick one of our lessons to explain it. So, what I'm picking is addition and subtraction from similar fractions. Let's start with example number one. It's one over four. Thus, 2 over 5. 2 over 5 equals. Okay, so since the denominator are different, we have to multiply it. So, 4 times 5 is 20. And then let's multiply this one like that. 5 times 1 is 5. Plus... 4 times 2 is 8. 8. Copy the denominator, which is 20. 5 plus 8. Over 20 is equals. 5 plus 8 is 13. And then, copy the denominator. So, our answer is 13 over 20. That one. So, let's move to example number 2. So, this one is 7 over 12. Minus 3 over 12. So, since the denominator are, yeah, are same. the same, we don't have to do anything with it. We just have to copy it. There. So, let's just mm, subtract this. <laughs> so, this, is, this one is subtraction. 7 minus 3, what is it? Um, 7 minus 3 is 4. So, our answer is 4 over 12. But we're not going to stop there. We have to um, divide it. Simplify, yeah. Okay, we have to simplify it by 4. Okay. So, 4 divided by 4 is 1, and 12 divided by 4 is 3. So, the answer is 1 over 3. So, that's the final, the final answer. Next will be, I have to wash the dishes for ESP. Okay, so this is for our ESP for 
um, our performance output at school for the second quarter. And what we have to do is we have to help the people or our family. So since I have to minimize to go out to public places, I have to choose to help my family. Um, which is I'm going to help mom to do the households. So what I'm going to do now is to wash the dishes. So this, these are all the dishes that I have to wash right now. Okay, so let's start! We have to put all of the dishes on here. <laughs> oh. Okay, so this is the only thing that I can help my mom to do the household because mom is not allowing me to sweep the floor because of my respiratory problem. And then mom is not allowing me to wash the laundry too. Help her to do the laundry because, yeah because of my respiratory problem again. Um, I've got respiratory problems since I was just five years old. Yeah, I'm just five years old. So every time that mom is taking me to the hospital, the doctors are always saying to mom that the reason of my illness is respiratory infection. That's why mom is following the doctor's um the doctor's um instruction. <laughs> yeah, the doctor's instruction to her. And she's taking care of me. That's why she's not allowing me to help her sweep the floor or help her do the laundry so this is the only thing that I can really help mom is to wash the dishes well I like doing this I love doing this because it is my hand is getting wet and it's cold and I like cold As a kid, mom is always the one who is washing the dishes, but now that I'm already grown up, I wanted to wash the dishes too, like mom is doing when I'm just a kid. <laughs> well, by the way, let's get back to my respiratory problem. So my respiratory problem is getting worse while I'm growing up. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Isn't that a bad news and a sad news? <laughs> but I like that I'm, it's my birthday because um, even though I've already grown up, I, I like birthday parties because I love parties. <laughs> to wash the dishes like this <laughs> because it's just like um second time I don't know how many times I wash the dishes so <laughs> well this outfit is for ESP and um I really wanted to, in the first, <laughs> right away. I 
and this is, I like it. washing dishes because I cannot sweep the floor, I cannot help mom to do the laundry because of my respiratory problem. Sorry. one that I'm gonna do is to read my activities last weekend for English. Okay, so this is for our performance output at school in English. So what we have to do is we have to write our weekend activity and we have to um, read it in the camera a video. And then what I did here is I wrote my activities last weekend in February 13 and February 14. So let's start reading. My activities last weekend. February 13, Saturday. Me and my mom went to school to retrieve the summative tests and modules. Unfortunately, there is no release of modules and worksheets that day. So mom decided to leave the summative tests and modules at the guard. We, when we arrived home, grandpa called for financial help. So mom and I decided to give them enough money for a sack of rice as a Valentine's gift. Mom also t said she'll send extra money for grandma's milk because she was sick. February 14, Sunday and Valentine's Day. Mom woke up early and cooked for our breakfast. She kissed me and greeted me a happy Valentine's Day when I woke up, which I also did the same thing to her. As usual, we bathed after we ate. 10 o'clock in the morning when we left home for Palawan Express to send the money that mom promised to grandpa. We then rushed to Jollibee to buy meals that we could bring to the park for our picnic. We arrived at the park before lunch. Mom chose the picnic table under the tree close to the nipa. Then, she allowed me to play and run around while she was happy watching me. 12 noon, when mom called me for lunch while she prepared the table. We already started eating when there was a TV reporter approaching to the people next to our picnic table to interview them. When we finished to eat, Mom told me to rest for a few minutes before I could play again. After a couple of minutes, the cameraman approached us 
to set the camera in front of us. He asked mom if they could take us a video and interview us, but mom said no. Then the man said, uh, okay. Mom then told them that they could interview us, but no camera. They agreed and started interviewing mom without camera. The TV reporter asked mom if we re regularly go to the park or just that day. Mom said we only came to the park that day to celebrate the Valentine's Day. She said kids are not allowed inside the mall and the amusement parks are closed. That's why she decided to take me to the park for a picnic. She was also asked, asked about her opinion and reaction about letting kids out during pandemic. Mom said, children came out for a long time now since the pandemic started and that would be fine as long as the children are with their parents and that they are fully protected with the face mask and face shield and for as long as there's still social distancing because things are depends on individual situation. Like for example, I saw a parent like her. Mom never remarried after mom and dad divorced and she doesn't have family here and because of that, she's taking me wherever she go like we're inseparable. The reporter asked, few more questions to mom before they moved to the next table. Mom then allowed me to play at playground slide and she assisted me to play the swing. An hour later, she called me back to eat an ice cream and eggs for snacks. Then she packed up and we strolled around the park. Three o'clock in the afternoon when we decided to go home and we arrived home 30 minutes later. We went straight to the bathroom to bath. When we arrived, then we rest the rest of the day. So that's all my activities last weekend. Thank you. Okay, so thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this video and please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. See you later. See you. See you for next video. <laughs>